Hey guys, so my water broke early this morning, um, around 4.22ish. Um, it started with me waking up and feeling some light fluid, and I stood up and more came out. And I woke my husband up gently and said, hey, I think my water broke. And I went to the bathroom and even more came out and it looked like someone had blown their nose in my pants. So I knew for sure, you know, my water had broken. So we got my stepson ready to go to Nana's, got him in the car, and we left. Um, when we got here, they had to do the testing to make sure that it was my amniotic fluid, and it was. A whole bunch more came out um, when they tested to see if it was my fluid. And then they had to put me on Pitcoin, or I don't know if I'm saying that right, Pit pit something um, to get me more dilated and contracted because I was only at a one but because I had lost so much fluid they needed me to have the baby today so they put me on that fluid um, about I'd say 840 about I had the epidural done because the cramps were just too much for me I can't handle it uh, the epidural hurts um, the needle they said was the worst part but for me I had a lot of pressure on my left side that really hurt like I don't know what it was my left side took a lot to get numb too so something about my left side I think is just harder to get numb um, so I went through that I'm happy I did it don't get me wrong it was worth going through that pain simply to get rid of the contraction pain and it took a good you know 30 40 minutes for the actual medicine to kick in to where I wasn't feeling it anymore um, and my legs did eventually go numb um, it took them a little while to put the catheter in I'd say another two hours I don't think it was it was probably close to 10 30 11 by the time they put the catheter in luckily because of how numb I was I couldn't even feel that I had to pee but as soon as you put the catheter in the pee came out um, Mostly everyone's been really nice here. Um, I did have one nurse that was quite abrasive. Like, she was good at her job, but, like, physically she was a little rough. Um, but she was good at, you know, she got what needed to be done. So, and then around 12, 12, 15, they were coming in to check me, and a whole bunch of fluid came out. And they thought that would help move things along, because they were surprised that I wasn't dilated enough yet. And then they noticed that for about 10 minutes, my son's heart rate had dropped to 50, which is really bad for a baby. Um, so they said we had to do an emergency C-section. So literally things went from 0 to 100 super fast. Um, they unplugged everything, scooted me out really quickly, um, helped move me onto the table. I was petrified and shaking. I have anxiety problems, as you guys know anyway, so I was a mess with my anxiety. Um, and they gave me some more numbing fluid, did the um, prick tests to make sure I couldn't feel anything, and then within 10 minutes, not even, like, they got Jensen out right away. Um, and he's very healthy. He's 7.5 ounces. Um, he is measuring at 19.5 length. He's got long fingers, long toes. He's a little cutie butt. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. He's sleeping, but we already did one breastfeeding and it went well. Um, his head was a little swollen, so they're checking that every hour, um, but it's already going down quite a bit. So things have been really good. Wanted to keep you guys updated. Obviously, I didn't do the labor video when I was going into it because it was dark outside and it just wasn't happening. Um... But, I mean, now I feel awake and tired. I can't eat anything that's, like, solid until tomorrow because of the C-section. Um, but they said I did really well and he did really well. So, let me show you what my son looks like. So, this is Jensen. He's a little cutie butt. We got his little mustache hat on. And he's wrapped up in his blankets, keeping him nice and warm. So we're very pleased and happy and couldn't ask for anything better.